Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Linbus network diagnostics using the 8-channel oscilloscope. Now Linbus diagnostics, um, uh, the signaling goes as follows. This, the Linbus transceivers, they normally operate at a voltage between 9 and 18 volts. Uh, and some may go uh, as, as, far, you know, as far as 30 volts, uh, depending on, on the application, depending on the vehicle that you're working on. Uh, a typical ve vehicle with 12 volts battery system, uh, um, it could be 24 volts, you know. Um, so you would see a LIN op operating, uh, the, the square wave the signal that you, that you see on, on screen, uh, the upper um, uh, edge of the square wave, you're looking at 12 volts or whatever battery voltage, you know, if, you, if you're uh, depending on if you're running the car, you know, it's, uh, if, if it's uh, regulated, so you're looking at maybe 12.6 volts on the upper edge. If it's a 24 volt si uh, system, make it so that it's uh, 24 volts. Now, LIN was developed to pretty much to help uh, the uh, CAN bus system. Um, why? Because you don't really need uh, the CAN bus. For one, uh, for one thing, the transceivers for CAN are more expensive than the LIN uh, transceivers. That's one. Okay, and you also the bandwidth is different, and you don't really need uh, as much uh, security. You know, wh whenever you, you use LIN, what what do you use LIN for? Uh, power seats, for example, power windows, uh, uh, some air conditioning uh, systems use LIN. Uh, anything that's not critical, uh, that's not related to the engine, transmission, um, ABS system, and stuff like that, uh, you can bet that you are dealing with a LIN system. Now, LIN and CAN are joined together so that they can talk as LIN is more, uh, slower. Can is faster, a little faster, sometimes a lot faster, depending on the can that you, that you have, uh, depending on the age, you know, the year of your, of your uh, vehicle in question. And so they, uh, you, you match the two together through a uh, gateway. Uh, so a gateway computer usually, not always, but usually is the body module, the body computer is the gateway. And this is what's, uh, uh, what actually matches the two uneven speed uh, networks. That's what a gateway does, you know, it actually matches to uneven speed networks and it also serves in many cars as the body module. Uh, and so that's pretty much, you know, that uh, it's important to understand what it does. Now this particular diagram that you see on screen, it's a, um, uh, this is a LIN, this is, this is exactly what you're gonna see um, when you use a LIN analyzer to, um, uh, to study the traffic uh, that uh, that goes uh, back and forth, and as you can see on screen, this uh, you see the LIN node, which is a power seed uh, computer. Uh, then you're going to see it's connected to a gateway. The gateway then is connected to all the other modules, uh, especially the, the 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 modules that are um, uh, like the ECM CAN bus, for example. Okay, uh, so basically this is you know this is this is the way it's done. Um, you pretty much, uh, in, in other words, you know, it, it, it's a, um, the system basically communicates with each other and it has to go through the gateway and, uh, oh, the, that, uh, screen that you see in the, in the, in the center, it's exactly what you're going to see, uh, on your laptop. You know, if you start using your, you know, your desktop, if you start using the link analyzer, okay. Uh, and in the analyzers, we're going to see a couple of shots here that it's just a little box that's connected uh, via the USB um, uh, port, you know, to the, uh, and this is, this is what it looks like. It's just a little box, you know, uh, don't spend too much money on these. They're not that expensive. Uh, some companies, they charge a normal leg, you know, over $300 for these guys. It's not expensive. Okay. It's not at all, you know? And so, um. Uh, this is a, a popular one uh, from a uh, pick uh, from a uh, micro microchip this is the company that makes them uh, uh, so anyhow now we're going to go into um, the, the signaling so on screen uh, we go into the eight channel scope uh, software 
Um, and if we go into vehicle diagnostics, network diagnostics, and we go into the LIN, this one here, the LIN, okay? And um, the, what you see on screen, uh, the, the lower uh, website, this is the actual channel um, uh, connected to the, uh, to the ACM. Um, I'm sorry, the, 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 I mean, we're not gonna use it because we're not connected right now. We're not connected to anything, so we're gonna shut it off. Okay, we're gonna use the upper sample waveform. Okay, the, this particular scope has a bunch of uh, sample waveforms, which is very, very useful. Okay, and this is what the LIN network looks like. And as you can see on screen, the upper, let's see if we could plot some cursors in there. We're gonna go into the cross, you know, which is pretty useful. And so uh, this is the upper and this is the lower, okay? A side of the, uh, of the LIN network. Uh, normally it switches very close to zero volts, okay? Uh, the upper side, which is the flat, you know, what you see right now with the square wave. So it's at uh, battery voltage, uh, usually 12 volts. Um, I've seen some, you know, um, uh, networks that I, they actually switch a little higher than 12, like 12.6, 12. Point, you know, even even uh, even close to 13. But that's it's really it doesn't really matter. But what you don't want to see there, and you have to develop because some of them do switch at seven volts. Uh, Lin the protocol doesn't really s says anything about the switching. Uh, we're just exploring and telling you that. When it comes to automotive uh, purposes, uh, it could be anywhere between seven uh, to maximum battery voltage, uh, which is 12.6. Uh, usually it's 12 volts because it's, uh, there's a voltage regulator in there. So anyhow, so this is what you're looking for. You wanna make sure that the, the square wave is nice and square, okay? You don't wanna see too many dips here. So, the, you know, some rounding is okay. Uh, because it just has to do with it with the resistance or the impedance of the wire or the circuit and so on and so forth well basically that's the way it is a single wire network one wire only okay and so uh, basically it's, it's a very simple you know uh you don't really the, the, we we went briefly before into the uh, uh lin network analyzer if you want to you know get yourself a software and, and a little gadget to play around with the lin uh, you're going to have to decode uh, to see who, who's communicating because everybody, all the modules have a different ID, okay? Uh, and it's really beyond uh, uh, your needs uh, as an automotive technician, even if you're a do-yourselfer. You, you don't, it would be nice to know, but I mean, it's, it's impossible to know all these. Uh, sometimes you have as many as 22 or 20, 26 modules communicating on the Linux network. And sometimes uh, each door, for example, has a separate LIN. Uh, these LIN uh, little computers, uh, they're very inexpensive, you know. And so the front uh, driver, your door has one, uh, the, the passenger front is another one, and everybody else uses a different, and the same goes for the power windows, you know, uh, and everybody else, you know. So, uh, it, it, you know, it is what it is. You don't really... Unless you're really into this sort of thing, you know, decoding the messages between the LIN bus, um, you know, and this this is uh, is another totally different matter, uh, which has no application whatsoever when it comes to uh, repairing your own vehicle or rep or repair repairs in general. Uh, it would be nice to know who's not communicating so that you can disconnect it and replace it, uh, but the problem is that each each one of, of these nodes, that's how it's called, the little modules, they use a separate ID, uh, and you don't know what the ID is, you know, you don't know who's missing, you know. So anyhow, uh, it is what it is, you know. We'd like to uh, thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training, where we expose you to all kinds of uh, um, automotive diagnostics, you know. If you can, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we try to post a video every week, plus, uh, so in between the in between the weekly videos that we upload, uh, we try to sneak in you know other videos you know, but it's, it's just expensive you know. Sometimes I don't have uh, you know the, the you know the the personnel you know to do the uh, to finish the rest of the videos you know. And uh, uh, even though I do a lot you know I can't do everything and it's expensive to do this stuff. So we appreciate you know any um, subscription to our channel. Go to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. 
Uh, if you can, give us a donation. We really appreciate it, especially here on YouTube. You can actually uh, subscribe to the channel for five bucks a month or whatever you can afford, and we really appreciate it. So again, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.